Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to uh, uh, bring this to you. Um, there was something else I, I was going, to, but anyway, um, I guess that I can mention that later. Um, but I wanted to include this as part of my series, as uh, part of the End Times uh, series on the B system and all. And uh, I'm, I'm sure my regular subscribers has, have seen this and know what I'm talking about. But I've uh, put together, uh, you know, a few videos in, in regards to this uh, big subject. And uh, I found some articles today. Well, actually, it was yesterday. Um, I'm kind of like a day behind. Uh, it, it's in regards to robots and cyborgs, okay, and that's all, all part of what's going to happen uh, during the tribulation time, and the uh, during the time of the, uh, World War Three and Armageddon. And so I better get started here. Okay, the first article that I found is uh, Harvard scientists unleash the robot bees. Okay, now a little guy like this, you know, they probably won't put out in the battlefield, but it's just a look at what they're building, and especially like with wings, this is what um, interests me about the wings part, is that there was um, a scripture in Revelation in regards to uh, the... Uh, Locusts, it says, uh, giant locusts uh, that uh, re was released out of hell. Uh, let me look that up. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, it's in Revelation uh, chapter 9, verses 3 and verses 7. Um, I'll go ahead and read the in entirety. Uh, what it says is that, And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth neither any green thing neither any tree but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads and to them it was given that they should not kill them but that they should be tormented five months and their torment was the torment of a scorpion, which he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shape of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were it there were many crowns, were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails and their power to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. And in the Greek tongue hath named Apollyon. And that's that. But the part where it said that the breastplates were made of iron. And their wings sound like many chariots and all. I don't know if this a literal demonic kind of locust. Or is it um, something that is... Uh, like the cyborg uh, uh, creatures because I have another article I'm going to share uh, with you 
But anyway, it says the days of the killer robot insects are upon us. Well, hopefully not yet, but they might be a step closer thanks to a work of a team of scientists at the Harvard Microbiotics Laboratory and their uh, monolithic bee. The uh, hexagonal, see that's the name, hexagonal uh, metal disc, a bit smaller than a qu quarter house. The bees, which uh, pop up and out of the sheets more or less like a pop-up book, complete with actual wings. And it means to fly as part of a large swarm, and each bee body could potentially be outfitted with chips all over that and, and I can build in sensors and control actuators. Professor Robert Wood told the Daily Mail. Um, presumably he um, meant to add for a, a good of all mankind rather than sort of like to every movie you'd ever seen about technology that eventually destroys mankind. Hint hints maybe? I don't know. Um, all right, this one here is the military is developing robot insect cyborgs. Okay, and instead of creating robots, researchers hope to uh, augment actual insects. And I'm not really sure if I really have time to read it all because I have some other ones to, to share. Uh, but this is just to let you guys know what they're doing and might maybe come, might come up in a few years uh, in regards to uh, these, these technologies that they're coming out with and why, why are they coming out with them uh, with these devices uh, you know what will they be used for and, uh, and that's why I want to get into the other article uh, about uh, basically the in depth about what the military is up to and why they will be using these sophisticated robots and uh, what their intent may be. Uh, yeah, which I don't like to know. <laughs> so let's go on over there. Okay, uh, this article here is in regards to the Great Tribulation and which will continue 42 months and with the beast of the earth it uh, okay it's nanotechnology okay that they will probably be using and this goes in a uh, uh, list actually list uh, the number of things well, a possibility the possibility that they may use um, in the uh, well, uh, to fulfill Bible scripture and uh, what is described in the Bible. Uh, it goes into, well, it starts out uh, that what, what was a post that came from Infowars.com and it talked about six technologies for de dehumanizing war. Okay. And could this be the nanotechnology that was referred to the prophetic scripture in Revelation 6 8? And I read for you Revelation 9. So, um, so we'll, t we'll take e either one because it, it sounds pretty much that uh, what's, go what's going to happen here. And it says, I looked and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat upon him was Death, and Hail followed with him. And the power is given to them over the fourth of the power of the part of the earth to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and with the beast of the earth. And uh, but it doesn't say the size of the beast. Uh, what uh, it does say, despite the escalation of war around the globe affecting millions of people, the process of the battle was becoming increasingly. Uh, depersonalized. This very well could be a plan implemented to create unthink unthinking and unblinking battalions to do the bidding of warmongers as humanity begins to resist their um, machinations. Um, at the very least, the process of 
depersonalization can create a scenario where uh, avoidance of war is minimized. With the uh, cooperation of, of major defense contractors, the landscape of war is quickly beginning to resemble the fic uh, fictional Skynet Global Digital Defense Network. Okay, and there's a link to that. Uh, okay, but anyways, as we seem to be on the cusp of a new future that give every indication that humans are gradually being phased out, much like they are uh, already have been on the manufacturing assembly line. So as I tell you, they're trying to phase out us humans. Isn't that nice? Not really. Okay, aerial drones. And I've seen a lot of videos on that lately about them experimenting with surveillance drones and weapon, we, weaponized drones. I had a dream about that a few months back ago. Um, it was uh, actually had to do with like missiles. Um, you know, missiles spraying everywhere. Um, they, they didn't look like drones or anything. Um, but anyway, getting back to this, uh, it says it brings death from remote control and thousands of miles away. And the video go game culture surely has lent a hand in creating the, the disconnect from buttons pushed and realized lost. And the robots and unmanned uh, ground vehicles, human troops on the ground already have partnered with thousands of robots to secure road side bombs, uh, conduct surveillance missions, and so on and so forth. Cargo delivery. Uh, Lockheed Martin has just announced a resounding success with their K-Mike system of an uh, autonomous and remote control helicopters that can resupply troops. So this sounds pretty much like Armageddon already. Nanotech the uh, miniaturization of drones seems to have no end. Literal swarms of cyborg insects can s surveil the most impenetrable uh, locations. With uh, President Obama's 2011 nanotechnology initiative having been fully funded. Boy, isn't he a lot of fun. But anyway, there's a PDF you can download to find out his strategic plan uh, on the future non-human war. Oh, it gets interesting. And the, the DARPA has a test of not, uh, uh, nano enhanced hybrids for body and vehicle armor, uh, paving the way to the likelihood of full-fledged human argumentation to uh, merge nature and machine. Remember I told you about that in my vi in my last video about cyborg. You know, sounds and speaking of cyborgs, this is next. And um, I'm getting close to the end. So, but modern science has merged the unending military budget to make cyborgs of science fiction a near-term reality. Insects. Uh, cyborgs are well established as a, a recognized tool with bulletproof skin and with argument with any human that might be left on the battlefield and so on. And it talks, gets into uh, computers and cyber war and so on and so forth. So then again it asks, is this the nanotechnology of revelation? Well, if some of us are still around, then we'll probably know uh, if it will come to pass. Well, I had another article, but I'll just tack it on t to the information below. And so, until next time, guys, God bless, and Jesus loves you, and so do I. Until next time, bye-bye now.